macam mana? Hello, hello, Sudipta. Are you able to hear my voice? Yes, yes, yes. I am Salku, and uh, you are live, and we are uh, showing the news hour here, and we are at the JNU campus, New Delhi, reporting live from New Delhi, and uh, welcome our guests and all our viewers here, and we are to disc and we are here to discuss about the topic freedom of speech, whether it is misutilized in JNU campus or not. So welcome to everyone. India is a democratic country, being one of the world's largest democracy and having a largest population. Everyone can think, everyone can give ideas, and everyone can act. But you know, some bad things are so mixed with some good things. So the recent activities which has happened in JNU is has brought a shame to this country, and and we are here to discuss that. And the reason is because the it is because of the terrorist Abzal Guru who has been hanged recently. The Supreme Court of India has announced that he is going to be hanged because he is involved in the terrorist activities in parliament and killed innocent people. The Abzal Guru is linked with terrorist groups like Jaisa Mohammed, Al-Qaeda, Taliban and destroying such campuses like JNU New Delhi. So let us unite, let us, let us feel patriotic and stay positive and we should act against the terrorism. On one hand, where our government is trying to attack terrorists and clean the anti-social elements, some people in JNU and organizations like this are forming a group or a union and are trying to save this country. So let us protect this country from some anti-social elements and remain positive. Our national flag should be hosted in every campus, even in this JNU campus in New Delhi. And we should be proud of that because our constitution says that. And as Andy also said, that thing twice before you act, but I say that think before you speak, after that you act. So I'm reporting live from New Delhi and I appeal to all our viewers that stay positive and remain patriotic and I'm proud to be an Indian. Jai Hind. So we are completing this news hour live from New Delhi campus, JNU. Bye-bye.